TJ, what did Brian and uh, Sam indicate to you in the, I guess, the final meeting there? What, what lies ahead? I haven't, I haven't had my meeting yet, so uh, I'm still waiting. I think I have like another hour left, so um, haven't um, spoke with them yet. But I'm pretty sure we'll just talk about how the season went and things that I can improve on and um, to help this team next season. Um, as of right now, I'm a Raptor, so I, I definitely feel like I'm, I'll be back. But, you know, like I said yesterday, if, if any changes are made, it's basically out of my control. I just continue to do the things that I normally would do in the summer to prepare myself for the following season. But um, as of now, I expect to be a Raptor next season. Come to change that they offered it to? I don't think I would have a choice. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm not sure if it get down to that. Uh, the most important thing is... You know, I think everybody just relax, take themselves away from um, the season and uh, just refresh themselves for the summer to get better. And whatever happens, happens. It's been two so-called starting point guards survive another year together. You know, I mean, yeah. Nothing you don't I think so. I, I think uh, I'm pretty sure we both would probably wish we would have played a couple more minutes together throughout the season. But, you know, understand that that probably was a difficult task just understanding um, we had a lot of a lot of shooting guards and small forwards and if we had to uh, both play at the same time that would be taking some of those guys men like Delfino like um, Capono Moon uh, I don't think that they really felt that that was necessary to take minutes away from those guys so um, we'll see how it goes next season I definitely think uh, it could work it could happen Except coming back here in a position where you weren't a starter? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, as of where I'm at right now in my NBA career, I consider myself a starter and uh, don't see myself coming off the bench for 82 games. How tough was it for you to come back and get back to where you wanted to be after the fall in Atlanta? Um, you know, it, it was. I think the training part was tough. I, I think once I got back with the team, I, um, you know, it, it felt pretty good. I wasn't sure what people was expecting. I'm pretty sure people didn't think that I would be able to play at the same level. And you know, that's motivation that I have. You know, every year that I, you know, I, I play this game is always, you know, going to be that question whether he can stay healthy or can he withstand hits. Uh, I think I showcased my determination, uh, my heart um, to play this game. But uh, I think it was a good season under, under the circumstances that, you know, I went through this year. Uh, I'm definitely uh, proud um, the way I performed, you know, for the whole season. Did you get back to where you wanted to be? I think I did get back to where I wanted to be. I think um, – you know, I continued to play at the level that I was, you know, prior to my injury. Uh, but, you know, it was a lot different coming back. You know, coming back uh, and just understanding the role, you know, definitely had changed. Um, guys have, was pretty much established, and you're just trying to come back and just, you know, fit right in and continue to keep the flow going with, with the team. Do you, kind of, do you kind of feel like – the circumstances you were brought under here, you know, you, you know, they handed you the keys to the car, basically, and you were going to make a go. And that situation isn't quite the same as it was two years ago, because uh, you know you had your injury, and Jose, you know, has improved maybe in ways people didn't expect. Uh, do you feel that the, the landscape's changed a little bit here? Um, no, I just, you know, I just look at it as, you know, he had a great opportunity. I think he was, he was definitely playing well. I think he definitely. Um, got a lot better from, you know, his rookie season to now. And I think that's what every NBA NBA player, you know, expects to happen and continue to elevate his game. So uh, you can't be upset because he continued to take his game to, you know, the next level. And, you know, hopefully, you know, he still has a lot more room to grow to be even a better player. But uh, I don't think you could be mad at him as a, as a player, as an individual, because, you know, he worked hard. He – he had an uh, opportunity. I think he took full advantage of it and um, quiet a lot of critics that, you know, maybe he wasn't capable of being a starting point guard. But obviously we do know that 
Uh, he is very capable of being a starting point guard and probably is just one uh, a starting point guard in this league. So um, you can't take that away from him. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, be controversial about, you know, the situation with, with me and him. I think we have a good relationship. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, no bad tension between us. It never has been. I don't think it ever will. Uh, I'm just excited, you know, everybody – um, can't wait for that opportunity to come when, you know, it's contract time and he's going to be um, able to um, be able to take care of his family for the rest of his life. And I think that's that's really the ultimate goal um, by doing what we do is being able to perform at the highest level to um, do all the things that you dreamed about doing. You dream, though, of having a team to call your own and, and sort of, you know, get that 35 minutes a night and, and show the world what you can do? Uh, yeah, I think everybody do. I think everybody in the NBA wants to play. I, I think we spend a lot of time in all season working and training and preparing ourselves for the season to be the best. And um, I still want to be considered one of the best point guards in the NBA. Uh, uh, it hasn't come, it, that, that title hasn't came as easy for me as it, as it has in the past, you know, throughout my career. So, um, the journey is a, li a little longer, but, you know, I do believe that I'm going to get there. Okay, uh, we're asking you about starting games. I mean, how about finishing games? The other guy finished almost all the games down the stretch. I mean, how, what was your take on that? And Coach felt that was the best decision, you know, to, uh, you know, have Jose in the game and closing out. Uh, you know, I was just there on the side to support. And hopefully my team can pull out every victory. Um, some of them we wasn't, and some of them we were. But like I say, that's out of my control. I only can control the things that um, when I was out there on the floor, whether I was playing good or playing bad, um, just continue to support the teammates and, you know, try to be ready when he called my name. Thank you. See you guys next season. <laughs>